Hey guys, Gamer3800 here once again, and here's Box. Before that, um, I finally got the new engine for the Rockslide RX-10, so I'll be putting that in later. But from my attempt so far, um, it's very hard to get the screws in. I had to be taken apart just to be put in easily. Anyways, very big box. Now, it could be one of two things. Number one, it could be a Traxxas Stampede 4x4 DXL. That I ordered that yesterday. Or it could be a compact SLT. We'll soon find out. Yeah, I'm using a screwdriver because I'm too lazy to go down and get the razor blade. Okay, it's opened up finally and well what's gonna happen is just diapers. God, it is diapers. Or some kind of very odd packing. Okay. I'm going to check and see if there's any power in here. No. This is the Compact SLT 286. On its own, it is quite rare, but what makes this one extremely special is that it actually has the docking station for it. So I have no idea how rare this thing is, and it's kind of showing its age here. Perhaps there is some shipping. I'll never know. But, yeah. I have no idea how rare this thing is. I've never seen one in my life. I saw some of one of these. Well, never seen one in my life. Shadow was extremely rare, and I'm not about to complain about that. Compact Computer Corporation Desktop Extension Base Stuffy in this one spot for some reason the Compact SLT286 on the other hand seems to be in good condition Although I ha have no idea if it's uh, If it has a hard drive It, it did boot in the um, eBay picture so, I have good hopes for this. Just looking at what's around. Here you can see the docking port. It's missing the top little thing, unless it's somewhere in the packing. I don't think it is. And it's missing what looks like a modem. Oh well. But, 20 plus year old laptop. 1988. SLT286. I am going to get a power adapter and um, turn it on. I'll be right back. Alright, I just got this thing hooked up. Powering on the docking station. And now powering on the unit. Hopefully this will show up. Okay. Monochrome LCD display. Two point six megs of RAM. Yeah, it seems like it just rebooted. I don't hear any hard drive spinning up, so <sighs> seems like my fears have been confirmed. There is no hard drive with this unit. I will say one thing though, I like how the keyboard can actually come, come on out. It has a little um, extended thing and that looks like none of the wires down here are frayed, only the ones up here are just very slightly frayed. So very good condition for the keyboard. 
Um, again, I don't know how common the docking station is. I know the computer itself is quite rare. To find it with the docking station is even more pleasing. I'm still wondering what's missing from here. I don't think it had a modem. Well, if it did, it was um, expensive and optional. The computer itself, back in the time, cost about $5,000. Then another, then another $1,500 for the dock. Yeah, computing back then was not cheap because it was so new. But, nonetheless, I am very proud I got this unit. Uh, I've seen the computer sell, sell for over $600, and, and for the SLT386 model, over $1,000. And then to get to even rarer docking station, who knows how much this thing is worth. I'm guessing at least 2000 But, yeah. Floppy drive, I'm not sure what's, whether that's, I'm working or not. I will open it up. Although I don't really want to, but I'm probably going to have to if I want to put a hard drive in it. I've heard that it just takes a normal full-size hard drive, so that shouldn't be too much of an issue. Inside over here you have a little printer port, or, or so it seems. Power cord, or power on. Another printer, monitor route, and keyboard input. Why keyboard input? At first I was wondering why this is all like this, but then I realized it's two. Uh, give you ports for there. Well, I think that's about as much as I can show you with the compact. So, show you more as soon as you know I get a little hard drive or something. It came with a 40 megabyte hard drive, would you believe it? Well, 20 to 40, one of those two. Came with a little handle because the thing weighs a hefty 14 pounds and it is quite a thick laptop. Well, thanks, Game Boy out. Okay, um, upon opening it up as much as I could, more on that later, um, I found out that there is a hard drive in it. Whether or not it's working or not, I have no idea. Now back to the um, taking apart thing. It's really difficult to take apart, really difficult. Everything comes out to the back and I can't figure out how to get the screen um, completely detached. I mean, I found out how to actually get it separated from the body, but not actual cables are under here. Yeah, they just came off the little things, snapped off somehow. Maybe just over age and over the years, they died, I don't know. But I can't figure out how to get the wire actually out of there so that I could take the thing apart fully. But taking everything apart from the back, I did manage to peer inside there and see that they were connected to a uh, hard drive. I don't know what size it is. I can't seem to get into BIOS. It's not really responding to anything. Perhaps this is why it was sold for so cheap. But the fact that it turns on is, you know, way beyond my expectations for something this old. I do hear a slight hum, but it could just be from the fan on the docking station. Still doing the same thing. I know doing control alt and insert. Um, but I mean, if you look here, the caps lock key isn't going on. But you just saw it there blink. So, keyboard's on and working, as far as I can tell. Just not getting past this. Either a hard drive error, a floppy disk error. Not even doing a little standby button. And no, there is no battery. From what I can tell, the battery would go right here because of the little connectors right there. So either a secondary battery or a main battery goes here. Because older computers tend to have more than one battery slot, no matter what company makes it. But 
I think this is about as good as I'm going to get with this for now until I um, can actually open it up more and get inside it. But as of now, it's just in here. Either someone formatted the hard drive or there's none all together. Or it's um, not working in any condition. But yeah, that's about all I have for this. Thanks, Kimboy out. Alright guys, very quick video this time. Very quick. Um, I'm taking part in a Compact SLT-286 and I can't seem to get the motherboard out or anything out. I was able to, you know, get the back panel off and the keyboard off fairly enough. The screws are over there. The screen's ready to come off, but I can't seem to get the top body off and... Yeah, you can see the back over here, but when I actually try to... That can't be good. That can't be good. Hang on. There we go. Whenever I try to actually push the mother motherboard out from under here, it gets about a centimeter or two out. Here we go. But this is about as far as I can get it out. Not very sure what's going on. Don't see any other screws anywhere. And it should be able to just slide in and out. There's there's nothing else around here. Nothing under the handle. And yeah, I can see it sticking out back there. Well, please let me know if you have anything, uh, any information of how to get this done. Success. Finally got the hard drive out of the SLT-286. But, slight problem. It's a non-standard IDE hard drive. I'm sure you have your 52-pin thing here. You have your power thing there. Mm, looks like you have a secondary power thing right there. Another size of 52 thing, power, and another secondary power there, but probably can't see it very well. But this is, the secondary power on this has nine pins. This has three. I can't change out the hard drives. This is DOS 6.0 on it, I think, and I have no idea what this is. I'm going to test it out and see if it actually will spin up. If it does, then I'm not sure why it's not booting. If it doesn't, then that's clearly the reason. So, yeah. Okay, testing the hard drive in 3, 2, 1. Okay, it's beeping that's never a good sign. My fears have been realized it's shut. So nothing comes up on the monitor up there. I have it hooked up to a Dell Dimension L700 GX. It's still not booting. Maybe if I take out the optional video card that I have in there. I haven't turned on this computer in ages so that's probably why. Be right back. Alright, well my older computer isn't um, working, right? That's another project I have to work on. But back to this. What to do with it? It's got a special connector right here. Standard here, standard here, but special here. It's got standard up here. I'm starting to wonder if that's another you know, thing to use, but I don't see any other place to connect other than here, but that's for a modem that would come out the side here. I guess the best thing I could do is replace the hard drive and check and see if that'll do it. Because as of now, this thing is making some weird beeps and whining. That's not always the best sign, but I mean, 
laptop hard drives tend to do that often, so... Hmm. I'll let you guys know as soon as that's done.